Welcome, brothers and sisters, this afternoon to this beautiful current of light and love. Try to be as comfortable as you possibly can, keeping our physical eyes closed and opening our spiritual eyes where we can see everything, the bigger picture, all there is. Uncrossing our hands, arms, legs, feet, sitting upright with our heads elevated just a little. So this beautiful current. Each and every one of us like. Breathing slowly, gently, deeply into the heart center, the center of our being. Breathing in more and more and more divine light from the everlasting source of all light. Permitting this beautiful love light to penetrate our very being here now in this moment. Filling us up to overflowing, giving us everything we need and much, much more to do this cleansing healing work so needed on planet Earth right now. With each precious breath pouring forth from our open heart, this magnificent high vibration, cleansing, healing, multiplying, this high vibration on the planet. Let us rise by lifting others. We're all in this together. We're just walking each other home. And as we close our physical eyes, we open our spiritual eyes and make this divine connection. We are reminded time and time again that we are spiritual beings having a human experience and not the other way around. We are not the body. We're so much more. The body merely houses our eternal spirits. We're not living eternally in these physical bodies. We have an expiration date. We move in and out of perishable bodies. And when illness manifests in our bodies, mental, physical, emotional, spiritual, it is a wake up call. And now certainly on the planet, we are awakening. We are here on earth to open our hearts. This is our mission. The human condition is not easy. There's no part of our being that doesn't involve some kind of suffering. The wounds are where the light gets in. We are pilgrims on the path, remembering the words of Dom Ignacio, Saint Ignatius of Viola, the patron of the Casa de Dom Ignacio. To love and to serve in all things for the greater glory of God. Thank you for your love and your service in this current, this afternoon. It's only a choice between love and fear. So let's keep choosing love, forgiveness, compassion, peace, joy, abundance, gratitude, happiness, all the good stuff. Multiplying this beautiful love light right across the planet. Love, loving, love. Our brother, Dom Ignacio, is a very modern saint. He too was very fond of the finer things in life and he surrendered everything to God Almighty. 
he reminds us that knowing God is much more important than knowing about God, the God of our lives, whatever God means to you, the God consciousness, all there is, sacred trinity of innumerable names. Dom Ignacio and his huge phalange of light workers are with us every step of this journey. We ask Dom Ignacio in this moment to help us all, incarnate and disincarnate, on our healing journey back home to the celestial fields. The prayer to Dom Ignacio opening up this current of love and light this afternoon. Dom Ignacio, you are the fountain that protects the seekers, the light and the wisdom. You are the hands that assist, that heal and guide us. You bring words that comfort us and fill us with powerful healing energy. You bring strength that makes us see in the dark the light of the coming day. You are the enlightened road that shows us the direction and the path to follow. And you make us feel safe with no fear of walking alone. Thank you for this beautiful current of love and light beaming out across planet Earth this afternoon. When we search thee, we fly like a bird. Dom Ignacio, envoy of the Creator, taking your children to the nest. I am happy to hear your advice, to count on your message. I want to be a sheep in your flock and in your pasture. I want to see the divine light reflecting your image. And when the storm comes, I want to wait for the dry weather in your shelter. I want to follow the destiny that your hand indicates. I want to enter the channel that plunges into the immensity to give the first steps to join your legion. To listen to your words. To learn these new lessons. Dom Ignacio, preacher of Christ's words, demonstration of humbleness. Our present example in this moment of love and kindness. Reward us with the distinction of your presence and your charity. Scatter in our darkness the seeds of truth. Lead our way through the roads of faith. Always follow our footsteps and the imprints of our feet. Crossing the deserts where Mary and Joseph walked. Leading us towards the King, Jesus of Nazareth. And so be it. Amen.
you for this beautiful high vibration that you are creating, maintaining, multiplying with each precious breath pouring forth from our open heart. This high vibration pouring into the universe, this ocean of love and light ebbing and flowing from each and every one of us as we all play our part to help to raise the vibration of the entire planet. Don't tell God you have a big problem. Tell your problem you have a big God. God is everywhere and in everything. Bidden or not, God is always present. And we ask the God of our lives to help us in these challenging times, to stay in the heart center, the center of our being, to love, loving, love. As we learn to love ourselves, not to give ourselves a hard time, we're doing the best we can. We're learning to love our brothers and sisters, what you see in others exists in you. We're all in this together, the human condition. When we're busy pointing our finger, there's a few pointing back at us. So let's stay in a place of non-judgment. And we're learning to forgive ourselves. Again, not easy. And to forgive our brothers and sisters. To let go of anything and everything that no longer serves us to hand all of our grudges and our resentments over to our Creator, the God of our lives. As we walk the path with Dom Ignacio this afternoon, he and his huge phalange are with us every step of the way. Dom Ignacio founded the Jesuits, the Company of Jesus, over 500 years ago to love and to serve in all things for the greater glory of God, love and service. And our brother Jesus is with us every step of the way, holding us, walking with us, helping us. Jesus told us many, many centuries ago that when a few are called in his name, he will be present. Trusting the promises of the Christ consciousness. May Christ return to earth. And Jesus gave us all a beautiful gift, bestowing upon his 12 apostles at the Last Supper, the very high vibration of the Lord's Prayer that has come down to us through the ages, teaching us how to pray, how to talk to God, our Father, how to love and to forgive ourselves and others, our brothers and sisters, and how to make that strong, powerful connection with our true home, in the celestial fields. Let us pray with open hearts, trustingly, without ceasing, joyfully, happily. The Lord's Prayer from its original Aramaic. O cosmic birther of all radiance, and vibration. Soften the ground of our being and carve out a space within us where your presence can abide. Fill us with your creativity so that we may be empowered to bear the fruit of your mission. Let each of our actions bear fruit in accordance with our desires. Endow us with the wisdom 
to produce and share what each being needs to grow and flourish. Untie the tangled threads of destiny that bind us as we release others from the entanglement of past errors. Do not let us be seduced by that which would divert us from our true purpose. Rather, illuminate the opportunities of this present moment. For you are the ground and the fruitful vision, the birth power and fulfillment as all is gathered and made whole once again. And so be it. Amen. to our Divine Mother, Mary, the Mother's Heart, the Feminine Power, whom Dom Ignacio also revered and was dedicated to, surrendering his sword and his dagger in Montserrat in Spain, changing his entire way of life, leading by example showing us the way forward, becoming a soldier for the Christ Consciousness. We ask our Divine Mother in this very moment to intercede for us, her children, to somehow alleviate the suffering of humanity helping us all to find the peace, the harmony, the tranquility, the love, the compassion, the forgiveness, the gratitude, deep, deep within us, and it is within all of us. We are divine beings, helping us all on our healing journey back home into the light, out of separation into oneness, one heart, one love, one light, one soul. We invoke the Great Mother, Father and Holy Spirit, Sacred Trinity, of innumerable names. We invoke you, Lady of Medicine, healer of all infirmities. We invoke you, Queen of the Universes, heavens, seas and lands. We invoke you, Sovereign of Spirituality, so that your light may descend upon us all and illuminate our paths. And so be it. Amen.
Thank you, brothers and sisters, for this outpouring of love and light from your open hearts. In the name of Dom Ignacio, St. Ignatius of Iola, the patron of the Casa de Dom Ignacio, with us every step of this journey. In his words, the more desperate things seem, the more we must hope in God. When man's aid fails, God's aid is very close by. Trust, have faith, believe in these beautiful entities of light and love sent by our Creator to help us, guide us, protect us and love us as we awaken on our spiritual path, pilgrims on the journey, walking each other home. Love, loving, love. We are learning in the school of life to open our hearts. This is our mission on earth. And in this journey we are learning to live without pretending, to speak without offending, 
to listen without defending and to love without depending. These are the sacred lessons we have come here on earth to learn in these physical bodies. A lesson will be repeated again and again and again. God has a sense of humour in this, the school of life. Love, loving, love. And Dom Ignacio gives us very comforting words in these challenging times, urging us to pray to our brother Jesus and the Christ consciousness. Oh brother Jesus, when all is in darkness and we feel our weaknesses and helplessness, give us the sense of your presence, your love and your strength. Help us to have perfect trust in your protecting love and strengthening power so that nothing may frighten or worry us. For in living close to you, we shall see your hand, your purpose and your will through all things. Thy will be done, not my will. And so be it. Amen.
thank each and every one of you, brothers and sisters, for your dedication, your commitment, your courage, your faith, your hope, your light and your love to be in service. To love and to serve in all things for the greater glory of God. Walking the path with Dom Ignacio and his huge phalange of light workers. To be happy, you must let go of what's gone. Be grateful for what remains and look forward to what is coming next. Your faith will heal you and your love and your light are changing the world forever for the better. Congratulations. And as we enjoy these closing minutes of this beautiful work this afternoon, we are open to receive after giving off our positive loving energies. We are now receiving a deep, deep, deep cleansing from Dom Ignacio and these entities of light and love here present for us 24 seven. They never leave us. Just be open to receive this deep, deep cleansing now from the entities of light and love as we surrender all of our problems, our anxieties, our fears, our pain, our hurt, our resentments, our grudges, our anger, our rage, all of our issues over to our creator, the architect of the cosmos, the God of our lives. Transmuting all of this denser energy into divine light, becoming lighter, happier, healthier, stronger, more peace and harmony with all of creation, of which each and every one of us is an integral part of. Recognising that we're in a safe place, we're safe in the arms of our Creator. Just let go. If you'd like to visualise a waterfall, like the waterfall here at the Casa de Dom Ignacio, which many of you are familiar with, or any place of sacred running water that you know with all the gifts of Mother Nature. Big blue butterflies helping us with our transformation. Magnificent, colourful flowers, strong green oak trees cleansing our oxygen. And crystal clear waters with birds singing for us like never before. We can hear them finally. They've always been there. Now we're connecting with all of creation. Hallelujah. And let's all go to this beautiful place together. Bring your family and friends with you. And bring those you need to forgive. And those who need to forgive you. This is a time of true forgiveness. Now is the time there is no better time. This is the work we came onto planet Earth to do. Let go of anything and everything that's holding us back, stopping us from becoming the beautiful light beings that we truly are. We are love and we are light. That is all, all there is. And let's bring our brother, Medium Joao, into this high vibration also. We cannot imagine how difficult his mission is. He founded the Casa de Dom Ignacio over 41 years ago, in love and in service for the greater glory of God, helping facilitate the healings of millions of people. Carnate and disincarnate, we remember our ancestors too, bringing them into this high vibration. And we also hold in our hearts all of our brothers and sisters who have suffered and are suffering on account of the problems at the Casa de Dom Ignacio. And we extend this magnificent cleansing, healing energy to all of our brothers and sisters right across planet Earth, this tiny little planet that we call home for now, that is hurting so much. 
this love and light from our hearts as a balm for the suffering of all beings, all creatures, great and small, pouring forth from our open hearts, making us a channel of this peace of God in this moment. As we close this beautiful work in love and service this afternoon, we ask Tom Ignacio, St. Ignatius of Iola, with this work of surrendering to the divine power, thy will be done, not my will. Remembering him surrendering his sword and his dagger to our Divine Mother Mary in Montserrat, in Spain, changing his entire way of life. Becoming a soldier for the Christ Consciousness, leading by example. Don Ignacio, our brother, Help us all, incarnate and disincarnate, to surrender to the will of God Almighty. Lord Jesus Christ, take and receive all my freedom, my memory, my understanding, and my will. All that I have and cherish, you have given me with love. And with love, I surrender it all to be guided by your will, your grace and your wealth and your love are enough for me. Give me these, Lord Jesus Christ, and I ask for nothing more. And so be it. Amen. Obrigada. Namaste.